Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make hickory smoked barbecue chicken drumsticks. This drumstick recipe comes with its own homemade barbecue sauce. Making your own barbecue sauce is so easy and so delicious. We're gonna make it right here in the blender. First, we'll put in one cup of ketchup. And then we'll add in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Next, it's time for our liquid smoke. You can buy liquid smoke at almost any grocery store and it's usually found next to the barbecue sauces. There's usually a couple different flavors and for this recipe, you wanna make sure you buy hickory smoked. So we'll just pour that on in. Then we'll add in half a teaspoon of soy sauce and a big old tablespoon of hot sauce. Then a quarter cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and then it's time for our flavorings. I have half a teaspoon each of salt, onion powder, oregano, basil, and paprika, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon or a generous pinch of cayenne pepper. Sprinkle those on in. Last of all, toss in three garlic cloves. Put the lid on here and blend this together. Just make sure that that sauce is well blended and smooth. Normally, barbecue sauces are cooked, but I have a super secret tip up my sleeve. We're gonna brush this directly onto the chicken drumsticks and let the sauce cook on the grill with the chicken. Isn't that genius? Now, if you weren't gonna use the sauce right away, I recommend simmering this on the stove for about 15 minutes, but not today. We're gonna start brushing this directly on our drumsticks. Just brush it right on your drumsticks. This sauce is really enough for 12 drumsticks. Make sure you cover it all and we'll flip it over and get the other side as well. You could put these on a baking sheet and bake them in a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes. But today we're gonna grill. I love the extra flavor that the grill brings to food. So I've got a grill preheating to about 400 degrees and we're gonna take these suckers on out. Now make sure you're putting your drumsticks onto a well-oiled grate so that they don't stick. Give them some breathing room. We'll let them get that initial sear before we brush on more barbecue sauce. Take a look at these. They have that nice black mark, so let's flip them over. Start brushing on some more sauce. Brush on more sauce every time you flip them. Make sure you close the lid when you're not directly working with the chicken. After that initial sear on both sides, flip them again, brush them with more sauce, and then reduce the heat a little bit. Be careful about cross-contamination with the barbecue sauce. If you touch the chicken with a brush and then dip it back in the bowl, that bowl is now contaminated, so the sauce can't be eaten unless it's cooked. It might be a good idea to work in small batches and pour some of the sauce into a bowl and use that to brush onto your chicken. Chicken needs to be cooked to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. So the best way to check and see if they're done is to take their temperature. Once they've reached 165 degrees, they're ready for eating. Now those are finger licking good. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out my channel where there's more than 100 restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. So there's sure to be something that you like. See you later. Mm.